Hello everybody. In this video, I've discussed step-by-step -step procedure of doing root canal preparation with rotary files. I've discussed it on maxillary first premolar. So let's go ahead and watch. The various steps are access cavity preparation, patency filing, pulp removal, working length determination, glide path preparation, and finally canal preparation with rotary files. This is maxillary first premolar. This is the central groove. There are two cusps, buccal and lingual. We begin the excess cavity from the center of the central groove and we hold the burr in this position. In this position, the burr is perpendicular to the occlusal surface and we start our cutting. Our axis cavity is done, buccal and lingual orifices of the two canals, they can be easily seen. The axis cavity is oval shaped as we wanted it to be and we proceed to our next step. Patency filing is done with 6, 8 or 10 number file. It's basically negotiating the canals to be able to reach the apex easily. By patency filing, the clinician able, is able to understand the nature of the canal, its curvatures, constrictions, calcifications, etc. Basically, the clinician gets the feel of the canal. Removal of the pulp from the canals is done with help of a barbed brooch. Insert it in the canal, rotate it and pull it out. The pulp comes out with it. I'll be using Pro Taper Gold files for canal preparation. It has two types of files, the shaping files and the finishing files, S files and F files. The shaping files S1 and S2 are used first. They prepare the coronal two-thirds of the root canal. They are followed by the finishing files F1, F2, F3 or F4 and they prepare the apical one-third. Remembering the order of the files is simple. There are identification rings present on their handles, the color scheme of which is similar to the order that we use in K files. That is purple, white, yellow, red. Before starting, I've placed all my files in order. This is S1, S2, F1 and F2. I have marked the working length on all the files with rubber stoppers and I'm ready to start my work. Establishing the glide path is a very important step. It basically means slightly enlarging the canals with 10 to 15 number hand files before we use the rotary files. So to do that, we've taken a 10 number file here, marked the working length with help of a rubber stopper and we have enlarged the canal. This we will follow with a 15 number file. We continue filing till our files they get loose in the canal. So now we can be sure that our rotary file can easily flow into the canal. It is always better to use the manufacturer recommended speed and torque values. Before starting the canal preparation, coat the file with EDTA. The canals should not be dry, they should be filled with saline or sodium hypochlorite solution. The file should be rotating when it is placed in the canal. The Pro Taper S1 file is allowed to passively float into the canal and follow the glide path till the 
working length. The shaping files are used in a brush like action. Now with this action you can see the cutting takes place when we pull out the file and it takes place literally on the outstroke like this. As the file is pulled out the cutting takes place literally along the walls. This is called brushing action. So we are brushing the files against the walls. I hope you understood the concept. After irrigation, recapitulation is done with 10 number file to break the debris and to move in the solution. This is followed by re-irrigation. The S1 enlarges the coronal one third and the S2 enlarges the middle one third. Together they prepare coronal two thirds of the canal. However, at the same time, they progressively enlarge the apical one third as well. You can see how we take in the file right till the working turn, pause for a moment and then pull it out in a brushing action. Before I clean the file, I would like to show you the debris present on the file. This debris indicates that active cutting has taken place in the canal. It is present all along the file, right in the apical area. However, maximum debris is present in the middle one third area. We recapitulate with 15 number file to break the debris and help to move in the irrigating solution. F1 file is selected and passively allowed to move deeper into the canal until the apex is reached. On reaching the apex you pause for a moment or so and then you pull it out and repeat the process. In case some resistance is felt you withdraw immediately but here we can see in the lingual canal it is smoothly going right till the apex. Now how do we check if our apical preparation is complete or not? We take a 20 number file and place it in the buccal canal. We carry it full length till the working till the apex and here we check whether it is tightly fit or it is loose fit. Now on pulling out like this we observe that it is tightly fit here. Let's try the other canal. In the lingual canal we go till the working length till the apex and as we pull out there is some resistance so it's tightly fit. This indicates that both the canals are fully prepared and they are ready for obturation. We do not need to proceed to F2 level. In my next lecture I will be discussing root canal preparation of the curved roots using rotary files. I hope you enjoyed your lecture. Do like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.